We just got a brand new news release around Werewolf 5th Edition from Paradox in a blog post from the World of Darkness website. It's obvious that they are trying to set expectations early on so as fans are not going to be let down, although the community is already divided around this new edition. What did they say, what's coming, and what changes have been made? Let's talk about it. Hello, my name's Nathaniel. I talk about world lore around World of Darkness games as well as many of the games set in the Paizo universe. If that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you join me at the table. Now let's get this out of the way first. As I mentioned, Paradox is being very quick to set expectations and make sure everyone knows exactly what's going to happen. It's very obvious when you read this quote. If you're a player familiar with legacy editions of Werewolf, this is a heads up to expect some noteworthy changes in both systems and setting. W5 isn't a continuation of those earlier editions, it is a reimagining of Werewolf built on the core themes of the original game. So it's obvious from this reading that they are not going to be using the ton of history throughout the different versions of Werewolf the Apocalypse. Now on the flip side of things, there are quite a bit of contradictions through the different editions, and this goes for Vampire as well, but especially in Werewolf, there are many contradictions, rewrites to the history. So while one thing may be true in a previous version of the game, it's not necessarily going to be true for a newer edition. And this is going to be even doubly so for fifth edition. So what exactly are we going to get? Continuing on, it says, Gaia, the world spirit, is dying or dead. The only creatures left who can do anything about it, the only monsters with any capacity to act, are her chosen champions, the Guru, werewolves. Once they fought to avert the apocalypse, now in fifth edition of Werewolf the Apocalypse, they struggle to survive it. I can see why they would make this change. The world is in quite a state right now. I do have some reservations about these changes as this edition will essentially try to stand on its own. One of the draws for me for Werewolf the Apocalypse or anything in the World of Darkness was the interconnection of the settings of the different games. Vampire, Mage, and Werewolf were the big three. You could run blended games in previous editions. I'm hopeful that that will still be the case with this new edition. They have given a similar treatment to Hunter the Reckoning as well. The game systems have a more common function between them. I suspect we will see the same for Werewolf the Apocalypse, but I do have some reservations and concerns about how this might be implemented. Other than what they've said in this blog post, we don't really know much about what they're changing or how. Outside of one thing, and that was the list of tribes that we will be able to play as the werewolves, and there was some significant changes in this. There is a few names missing on this list. Let's see if you can spot them. Looking at this, some of the tribal glyphs have changed from previous editions. I'm okay with some of these new changes and how they look. Going all the way across, we see black furies on the top with some descriptive verbs around them. We don't know much about these or how they'll be integrated into the setting, that remains to be seen. Patron spirits have always been a big aspect of playing any werewolf tribe, but there are also some changes in this category as well. Renown and how it functions is also getting an update in this new edition. There are still the main three categories of wisdom, honor, and glory. We will talk about those in a minute. The Black Fury's totem has changed from Pegasus to Gorgon, which is an interesting adjustment. The Bone Nars are still here, and their patron spirit is still Rat. The Children of Gaia, they still have their patron spirit of Unicorn. The Fianna have also made it into the 5th edition of Werewolf, and their patron spirit is also Stag as it has been in previous editions. Now the Gale Stalkers, this is a new tribe name and their patron spirit is going to be the North Wind. I suspect that this might be a combination of some of the Aboriginal tribes. A new one that has also made it to this list is called the Ghost Council and their patron spirit is the Horned Serpent. I have a feeling that this will be the magical side, the mystical side. Werewolves that had strong connection to the Umbra as well as spirits. The Glasswalkers will also be in 5th edition. Thank goodness for that because they are obviously a fan favorite. However, their patron spirit has changed to Spider. In previous editions, it used to be Cockroach. 
This change makes sense to me. The Glasswalkers live in the cities. They live in the Weaver's environment. It makes sense to me that they would learn how to use the machinations of the Weaver for their own purposes. Now, the Red Talons have made it in. Their patron spirit is that of Griffin. This has been the same from previous editions. The Shadow Lords and their patron spirit is that of Thunder. The Silent Striders and their patron spirit is Owl. And the last one on the list is the Silver Fangs with their patron spirit being that of Falcon. Now, there are some tribe names that are missing from this list, and I suspect that they will have been blended into some of the ones that we are unfamiliar with. The Stargazers, the Uctena, the Wendigo, and the Get of Fenris. Now, before we talk about the changes in the Renown system, I did make a community post around the changes in the tribes that were coming out. Many of you mentioned that the Get of Fenris not being included on the list has irritated you or upset you in some way. If that's the case, let me know in the comments below. In previous editions, the Renown system was supposed to be how you leveled up. You were more recognizable, your stories went far and wide across the Guru Nation. As a werewolf, you don't necessarily have levels the same way you do in Dungeons and Dragons or Starfinder. The werewolves, the Guru, they tend to judge themselves based on their deeds, their stories, how heroic they were with as much embellishment included in there as you want. I always struggled with its implementation. I know I'm not the only one who did. So personally, I'm glad that this system is getting an overhaul. I'm hoping that it's implemented in a way that makes sense and is easy for newcomers to the system to try to use for themselves. Now, am I concerned about the new edition and what's coming down the line? A little bit, but I think a little bit of skepticism is good or a healthy thing when you're dealing with a new edition or a new system. And there will always be those who are unhappy with any changes that have been made. I am very confident that we will see a new type of dice system added to this game, similar to what we've seen in Vampire the Masquerade, Hunter the Reckoning. You will have your main set of dice and then you will have a second colored mechanical dice. It's still going to be a D10 pool system. I don't see them changing that, especially if you want to be able to integrate this and use this in conjunction with some of the other games. I do worry about the world history, the lore, that it becomes too watered down so that it tries to appeal to a mass audience. The world of darkness has never shied away from any mature topic, and I don't think it should. That's what the games and the system are known for, and I don't think that needs to change. I'll be honest, I was surprised that Hunter the Reckoning was done before Werewolf, but I think after the issues that happened with Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition, they were going to do Werewolf, they pulled it back to make whatever changes, any adjustments that they were going to do, and now they're getting ready to share all of those changes with us. In my opinion, Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition has done very well for itself. It has a lot of brand recognition, lots of people are playing it, trying it out. I don't think Hunter the Reckoning has been nearly as successful. However, I am hoping that with 5th edition of Werewolf, they can achieve some of the same results that they've gotten with Vampire. But what about you? Will you be buying this edition? Will you be checking it out? Are you interested? Should they have just left well enough alone? Tell me about it in the comments below. Thank you to all of my patrons for your ongoing support for me and the channel. And for those of you who have donated through Super Chats, thank you. Thank you, thank you. My name's Nathaniel. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.